Are you guys ready for an awesome coin shop store today? Uh, we have something interesting to tell you guys, so stay tuned and enjoy the video. A husband's dying wish was for his wife to never sell these cars. And you might be asking, why wouldn't you want to sell these group of three cars here? Um, from what we know about the story is that they're all clunkers. They're all things that haven't moved out of their backyard in years. You know, this is where their house may have sat. Um, this is just kind of where the cars were grouped up. But his dying wish um, to his wife, which I don't know why he didn't leave any more information to her, was don't get rid of these three cars here. And as time kind of progressed, uh, you know, after he passed away, uh, women start to get creative. And she said, I'm getting rid of this crap out of the backyard because, you know, I want to free up some space. I, you know, I want some, you know, I want it to look like a, a neat backyard, not like a kind of a junk town type of feel. And so what did she do? She, she brought a guy in um, and they started to try to pick up these cars. And when they did, um, it didn't pan out too well. Um, the guy tried to pick them up and he said they were so heavy that they, they wouldn't move at all. And so after, uh, you know, some time passed, um, they actually ended up opening up these cars and inside, you know, where even like in the car door, in the trunk, um, you know, where the tire used to be, inside the panels of the cars, um, you know, he would take off certain panels and everything. He would actually stash silver in there. And so all these cars weighed so much that she couldn't even move them. And the estimated street value of silver at the time was around $750,000. And you might say to yourself, that's a lot of money. Yes, that is a lot of money. It's kind of interesting um, to hear stories like that because um, it happens actually quite often, right? Uh, uh, someone that is a collector passes away, they don't really tell anybody or they don't really give anybody information about their collection. And then it ends up you know, either being squandered or sold or um, in this case, forgotten about, didn't even know about. Um, so. Uh, something to understand about this is if you're going to have a collection you really need to understand how to pass it on or how to you know liquidate it when your time comes collect gold and the reason why you should collect gold or stack gold is because it's easy to move easy to transport um, and it's easy for your family to kind of understand it um, silver is kind of the same way but when you have this amount in terms of magnitude, especially hidden away in a certain kind of position like in these cars, it could be hard for your family to get a hold of that and it could be pretty hard for them to move it. Um, you know, the silver that was probably in these cars was several, several ton or several, several thousands of ounces. So it's just interesting to understand, especially when you start to progress and spend more money in collecting or uh, you know, stacking bullion, stacking silver, stacking gold. 
Um, and also for coin collections. Some coin collections, you know, just they're not given much information about it, um, and it ends up being uh, a disaster when they go to liquidate um, just because they're not given the appropriate information. Are you enjoying today's video so far? If you are, please leave a like, comment your thoughts down below. What do you think about this coin shop story? Um, it's kind of interesting, a lot of things to learn from and a lot of things to kind of wrap your mind around. Um, and subscribe if you're new. We're coming out with videos every single week. We'll be in Sherman, Texas tomorrow for a coin show. We'll be at Conroe, Texas next week for a coin show. We'll be in Grapevine next month, I think on the 12th or the 20th. So you guys uh, watch out for us if you guys are in Houston, Conroe area. Um, it'll be a great month and I look forward to meeting some of you guys. So a few videos back, we actually uh, showed you guys a true view to this 1923S Monroe commemorative half dollar. Uh, it, it was a tremendous coin when you saw the true views, but when we actually saw it in hand, I mean, this coin just blew my socks off. Uh, we didn't get to keep it uh, long enough to have it on the website for a while. Um, it actually sold, but I did want to show you guys this coin in this video because it was just a stunning example. and. Uh, you got to look out for commemoratives this year, guys. Commemoratives are going to be on the rise. Trust me, I am not a financial advisor. Didn't you get a nice buffalo nickel in today? Yeah, we got a nice buffalo nickel in today. Um, it was a 1915D uh, buffalo nickel, a little bit harder of a date. Great MS62 by PCGS. Um, the rainbow on that coin, all the way around the obverse rim. It's, it's on another level. Um, I've been looking for something that's a little bit of an earlier date. Not a 1913, but something of that caliber. Um, you know, and the color on this coin is phenomenal. Uh, we worked with NFC Coins to pick up this coin. It's been a little bit more than I wanted to, but it's the way it goes sometimes when there's a nice coin involved. Uh, you just gotta pounce on it because you don't see them every day like this. Uh, the toning is immaculate, um, and the luster is actually pretty decent on the reverse. Um, but on the obverse, I think it's lacking a little bit luster. So I think the coin might end up getting a 63, maybe. Um, but true views are really needed on the coin. Another interesting story for you guys to watch and understand uh, was this really interesting proof kind of set that this guy made. Um, they're all in Rattlers. I'm going to show a picture of that right now. Uh, it's like an 1884 proof set. All consecutive certs, all in Rattler holders. Um, the coins look gorgeous, amazing. Um, and I think the set sold for $15,000. Um, you know, a guy on Instagram ended up sharing this with us and we wanted to share this with you guys in this episode because it's just something interesting. You know, that's something that I want to pick up and work with one day. And, uh, you know, if you actually looked at all the values on all these coins, um, you're going to realize that someone paid a lot more than what price guide or gray sheet was for these coins. Um, but just understand that there's coins and rattlers that are super expensive and very rare. Um, just because not many people sent them in back then um, and they are, there are a lot of them are out of circulation which means there's a lot in, in different collections that haven't been you know shown in many years so watch out for coins and rattlers especially type coins because you'll actually get a premium like this one um, I'll actually show you guys a, a kind of this half dime that sold on eBay recently and I'll also show you guys the retail number here of what it actually should be um, so just know that rattlers are super expensive. That's your coin tip of the day. So if you guys saw a few videos back, we ended up picking up these shirts and they were pretty nice. And then when you look over and uh, you know see them on the back, they have our phone number on there. And you know this really helps us reach out to people. Uh, people call us sometimes and ask to look at their collections in person. And then we also got this from Facente as well. This is a you know a car magnet that goes right on the side of your car, right where you're kind of your uh, your door is you just slap that sucker on there and uh, you know when you're on the road or when you leave your car you know at Kroger or Walmart someone might stop by and see that and so I don't know the reason why we're kind of doing all this spending the extra money is because wherever we go we want to know uh, we want to reach out to people and make them understand that we buy and sell coins and uh, you know just putting your name out there is something that's important as a coin dealer because uh, you get an opportunity every single day to help somebody with their collection or their stack. And uh, I think yesterday, actually, we got a call from somebody in our area. He had a lot of world coins, and uh, we should be hearing a call back from him soon. So stuff like that really helps us, you know, uh, prolong and uh, help out our business. So 
stuff like this you guys might want to consider if you guys ever want to start a coin business as well. Um, just really helpful tools. So how many people have uh, reached out to you because of your shirts? I think you know a few people have reached out so far, but kind of the most important one, which is kind of interesting, was uh, a guy named Robert. We were sitting down in an Italian restaurant. My sister was saying, "Oh, he, this guy's looking over at you. Um, he might approach you." You know, we had our, our shirts on with our phone number, and uh, Robert ended up coming over from Stax Bowers and saying, "Hey, what's up?" You know, they ended up shaking our hands. Uh, they, I think they sent, sent us their their buy sheet, so they have a buy sheet that we can actually send them stuff if we're interested. So. It's been a really uh, great experience when you're out because, you know, a lot of this stuff right now, because of everything that's going on, is virtual. Uh, but just seeing people in real life, understanding them, uh, what their goals are, um, you know, that business kind of uh, in real life has really been a blessing for us. And so that's kind of why we do it, uh, why we spend the extra funds, you know. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy our coin shop story, please leave a like. I mean, we want to come out with content like this every single week. Interesting stories when they come available. Um, comment your thoughts down below on what you think about this story. And subscribe if you're new. we got new coins coming out. Uh, we got coin shop, a coin show, and coin shop kind of vlogs coming out too. You're not going to want to miss those. But uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.